hello everyone today we are going to discuss about the reflection of light of chapter 8 of class 9 and 10 physics light is a kind of energy which produces sensation of sight in our eyes when light reflects on an object and comes into our eyes the retina of our eyes create and send signal to our brain then our brain can recognize what it is the whole process starts with light entering into our eyes light is an electromagnetic wave every wave has a wavelength which means light also has a wavelength but this wavelength can vary so we can say electromagnetic waves or light waves may have any wavelength these wavelengths may be greater than a few kilometers or may be 1 trillion part of 1 meter we can only see a small part of this possible large range of wavelength we can see it if the wavelength is larger or smaller than this range if the wavelength is from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer we can see the electromagnetic wave and we call that light the colors we see in our eyes are actually light of different wavelengths when the wavelength is less it becomes violet when the wavelength increases the light gradually becomes blue green yellow orange red and at one point it disappears human eyes cannot see beyond this range but various insects or other living be- beings can see outside this range the sensitivity of eyes of different colors of different wavelength shown by the figure if the wavelength is less than the smallest wavelength of visible light then we call it ultraviolet light if the wavelength is even smaller than it is called x ray and even smaller is called gamma ray which comes out from radioactive nucleus if the wavelength is larger than the largest wavelength of visible light we call it an infrared ray if it gradually becomes larger we call them microwave and then radio waves so we can see that the wavelength of the visible light is very small now what do understand by light the electrons in the atoms of a matter revolve around the different shells at different distances from the nucleus when energy for example heat energy is supplied for an atom then the electrons jumps from the inner orbit or shell to the outer orbit or shell later on when the electrons come back to their original shell then the excess energy stored in the electron is radiated this very radiant energy is light so we can say light is a form of energy or external cause which produces sensation of sight in our eyes now look at these pictures do they emit light yes the objects in these pictures emit light for this they are called luminous objects Now look at these pictures do they emit light no they do not emit light for this they are called non luminous objects what are the major properties of light one light is a form of energy two light is a kind of electromagnetic wave 3 light travels in a straight way through a transparent medium 4 light travels with velocity of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in vacuum 5 reflection refraction 
dispersion, interference, diffraction and polarization of light take place. When light is sent from one medium to another, three different phenomena occur simultaneously. Look at this figure. One of these is reflection and the other two are refraction and absorption. While traversing from the first medium into the second medium, if a part of light returns to the first medium, the phenomenon is called reflection. Some parts of it may enter the second medium, which is called refraction, and some of it may be absorbed, which is called absorption. So what do we understand by the reflection of light? Look at this figure. Here AO ray travels in straight line through a medium and falls on the surface of a second medium. So AO ray is called the incident ray and O is called the point of incidence. After reflection, the light ray comes back to the previous medium. The light ray that turns back to the first medium from the surface of separation of the two media is called the reflected ray. Here, OB is the reflected ray. Here, NO is the normal which is drawn at the point of incident on the reflector. The angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incident is called the angle of incidence. In figure AON is the angle of incident. It can be denoted by angle I. The angle between the reflector reflected ray and the normal at the point of incident is called the angle of reflection. In figure NOB is the angle of reflection. We can denote it by angle R. So what is the definition of reflection? When light traveling through the first medium falls on the surface of a second medium, then a portion of light returns back to the first medium from the surface of separation of two medium. This phenomenon is called reflection of light. Reflection obeys two simple laws. First law. The incident ray, reflected ray and the normal at the point of incident on the reflected lie in the same plane. Here XO is incident ray. OX prime is the reflected ray and NO is the normal at point O and they are all lie in the same plane. Second law, the angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. From the figure we see that I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of reflection. According to the second law, I equals to R. Depending on the nature of the reflecting surface, reflection may be of two types, regular reflection and irregular or diffuse reflection. Regular reflection. If a parallel beam of light falls on a smooth surface and after reflection remains parallel or in convert 
reflected into a convergent or a divergent beam then such type of reflection is called regular reflection for example when a parallel beam of light incident on a plain mirror or on a well polished metal surface the beam remains parallel even after reflection in this case the angle of incidence for each incident ray is the same and the angle of reflection for each of the ray is also the same due to regular reflection irregular or diffuse reflection If a parallel beam of light is incident on a surface and after reflection it is neither parallel nor convergent into a convergent or a divergent beam then such reflection is called irregular or diffuse reflection figure shows that a parallel beam of light incident on a rough surface in this case the rays in rays incident at different angles at different point of incidence on the rough surface as a result the corresponding angle of reflection of these rays become different due to this the reflected rays are no more parallel objects which we see around us most of their surfaces are not smooth as a result the reflected rays which enter to our eyes are diffused in nature due to this the objects appear dim instead of bright most of the surfaces which appear smooth to naked eyes actually are not smooth when these objects are viewed with a microscope they appear rough Now what are the differences between regular and irregular reflection let's see regular reflection one it occurs when a parallel beam of incident light rays remains parallel after reflection irregular reflection it occurs when a parallel beam of incident light rays does not remain parallel after reflection Two, regular reflection. The reflected rays are reflected in one direction. Irregular reflection. The reflected rays are not reflected in one direction. Three, regular reflection. Image formation takes place. Irregular reflection. Image formation does not take place. Four. regular reflection it occurs from smooth surfaces like mirror silver spoon etc irregular reflection it occurs from rough surfaces like wood book wall etc it's all for today thanks for watching